Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And welcome back to a November evening in the United Kingdom. Um, it's been a horrible day today. It's been um, been a damp day full of mizzle. Um, if you haven't heard of mizzle, is a sort of a kind of a cross between mist and drizzle mizzle. Um, something that we used to see a lot in Cornwall. Anyway, um, so in the next 30 minutes, uh, in this Hancock's VMware half hour, we're going to have a little look at a procedure or a process to update VMware vCenter Server 8. Uh, same applies to VMware vCenter Server 7, um, that we've never done a video of. So this is a first. This is a first. Um, so thank you to Erica um, on LinkedIn um, that requested this. Um, I did actually say to people that if there is a video that you want to see that is not in the existing um, how-to series um, for VMware vSphere 7 or VMware vSphere 8, then um, don't be frightened to ask. Uh, what you wish for uh, may come your way. So this evening, what we're going to do, um, we're going to take um, VMware vCenter server 8.03 GA um, build release 2.2215. We're not going to use VAMI and we're not going to use the reduced downtime upgrade version RDU um, because Erica requested uh, that we have a little look at doing it from command line or offline. And I suppose if you're in an in environment that does not have access to the internet, i.e. your VMware vCenter server doesn't have access directly to the internet, then you're not going to be able to use VAMI. Um, you could use the reduced downtime upgrade version if you manage to get your hands on that uh, 11 point eight gig um ISO. But to to do um a command line upgrade um which I think I got the right message um Erica um then you need to obtain um the patch file um so you need to obtain the VMware vCenter server appliance followed by the version that you want to upgrade to. So we're going to upgrade to um, 8.0 U3D um, or build number 24322831. And you want the dash patch dash FP dot ISO, which is a little bit smaller, 7.97 gig here, uh, according to uh, Broadcom's portal. And if you actually basically look at the full ISO version, that's 11.5 gig. So we've already downloaded that and we have already connected that ISO and mounted that ISO in our VMware vCenter server. We've connected uh, to our VMware vCenter server uh, using SSH and we have the, we're at the shell, we're not at the bash prompt, we're actually in the shell. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to run these uh, couple of commands uh, that will allow us uh, to upgrade our server. So the first command that we're going to use um, is software dash packages space stage space dash dash ISO space dash dash except uppercase E, U-L-A-S. So I'm just basically going to copy that in. Um, and it's going to do a um, very similar um, thing uh, to what VAMI does. If you've ever noticed VAMI, when you basically click an update, um, it, it goes off and does uh, the same thing. And you can actually basically use the GUI uh, to go off and check the patch um, in your... Uh, CD-ROM drive as well. So again, that software dash packages space stage space dash dash ISO space dash dash except uppercase E U L A's 
Um, and now it's actually basically doing the, the staging in process. And uh, I'm just going to drink my last coffee of the evening. Um, so just excuse me a minute. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, I'm going to finish off this coffee. I'm going to finish off uh, my um, my Pepsi Max, but other soft drinks are available. And um, we'll speed all this up in post because this is going to take quite a while while it actually downloads all these RPMs from the ISO uh, whilst it actually stages uh, the, uh, the upgrade. Um, so um, I will be back shortly. So oh, the staging has completed successfully. Um, <clears throat> so as I've mentioned before, by staging our upgrade, that doesn't affect production at all. Um, you can do the staging in hours. It's not going to affect the workloads. It's not going to affect your infrastructure. Um, this next piece, when we do the install, is will actually take um, VMware vCenter server offline. Um, we already have done a backup. So we have a backup of the vCenter uh, database. Uh, we've already exported the distributed switch configuration and we also have the belts and braces snapshot applied as well as we would with any other VMware vCenter server upgrade. So now I'm just going to basically, as the um, command is software dash packages space install dash dash staged and this will install all the stage packages that we did in the previous um, session in the previous uh, command so now i'm just going to hit enter and the update is already staged so now it is proceeding to install and this will now basically stop all the services and take our VMware vCenter server offline. So at this point, um, you can't cancel. And it's just a case of waiting until we see the message. Packages upgraded successfully. Reboot is required to complete the installation. Um, so with that, um, there's not really much more for me to say. Uh, so I will disappear and uh, we will speed all this, this up in post-processing uh, so you don't really have to watch uh, probably, I would think, 30 minutes um, worth of uh, installing packages. So I will be uh, be back later. So I'm back and we're greeted with the lovely installation completed successfully. Installation process completed successfully. Uh, we don't have a message uh, that actually tells us that a reboot is required to complete the installation. So no boot, is, no reboot is required at this stage. And if we log on to VMware vCenter server, uh, we can see that the version is 8.03 and the build is 2433.2831 uh, which is vCenter server 8.0u3d so there we go um, that's for you Erica um, I hope that's what you asked for and we've covered in this video at Hancock's VMware Half Hour if you're watching this on Experts Exchange then please endorse uh, if you're watching it on YouTube, 
then please give it a thumbs up and uh, feel three to subscribe um, so that you'll be notified of new videos uh, that uh, get uploaded to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. So thanks so much for watching this video and um, all the best now. And uh, there's only one thing for me to say, and that's uh, goodbye and uh, come back soon. Thanks so much. Bye bye.